Today we are reviewing the movie, Predator. Predator was a popular action movie from the 1980s, featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Stay tuned as we go through the movie. Predator is a 1987 American science fiction action film directed by John McTiernan and written by brothers Jim and John Thomas. It is the first installment in the Predator franchise. Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as the leader of an elite paramilitary rescue team on a mission to save hostages in guerrilla-held territory in a Guatemala Central American rainforest, who encounter the deadly Predator, a skilled, technologically advanced alien who stalks and hunts them down. Predator represents one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's biggest successes during his action movie heyday. In the 1980s, Schwarzenegger was a wanted actor for many films, and action heroes in general drew large audiences to theaters. The Predator movie initiated its own popular film series, which later expanded in different directions, even integrating the Aliens movies into the Predator universe. The Predator project was multi-year and apparently significant, as, for example, Schwarzenegger didn't pursue the third installment of the highly popular Conan movie series, titled Conan the Conqueror, due to his involvement in the Predator movie. The roots of the film trace back to 1984 when the project was known as Hunter. The movie is divided into two main parts. The first part follows elite commando forces in the jungle as they combat both rebel forces and the Predator itself. The second part centers on the showdown between Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Dutch, and the Predator. During the first part, the audience becomes familiar with Dutch's commando team, and glimpses of the extraordinary are revealed, such as skinned soldiers and thermal camera views. However, the most significant revelation, the presence of the Predator, is spoiled right at the beginning when a spaceship drops something to the ground. The introduction and synchronization of the various characters are well done in the film, but since it's an action movie, character depth remains relatively superficial. For fans of action movies, the scene where the commando team destroys the rebel camp is a treat, complete with explosions and gunfire as expected. The destruction of the rebel camp is portrayed in the traditional style of action movies. When the commandos discover that they are up against something supernatural, the first part of the film takes on a new focus. Naturally, more action ensues in the jungle, and the cliched sequence where heroes are killed off one by one unfolds in the movie. The second part of the film changes its nature. Now, it's not about commandos running through the jungle but Dutch fighting the predator alone. Some comedic elements emerge, suggesting that even a small amount of mud on the skin makes Hero invisible, even though the eyes aren't covered in mud. Similarly, the film's hero, Dutch, crafts a bow that turns out to be more powerful than modern weapons. The battles between the hero and the predator are narrated successfully in favor of the predator's advantage, but the hero's resourcefulness eventually proves beneficial. As expected, the hero defeats the predator in the end, and he is rescued from the jungle. The film's pacing between events is well done, making it enjoyable to watch. This is likely due to successful editing, as the script itself doesn't offer significant plot twists. The only major plot twist involves tricking the commando team into carrying out the CIA's dirty work in the rebel camp, rest of the film is quite straightforward. There seem to have been changes and shifts in the film's direction during production, which may have influenced its straightforward narrative. For instance, the scene where the commandos attack the rebel camp reuses the same explosion shots, indicating editing changes. Additionally, the design of the Predator underwent changes, which seemingly impacted the script. The original Predator resembled a lizard and lacked distinctive helmets or high-tech weaponry. The original Predator can be seen in the early shots, when the role was still being portrayed by Jean-Claude Van Damme, who was originally cast to play the Predator. Conflicts between Jean-Claude Van Damme and the filmmakers led to changes in the Predator character. Predator is an action movie, that's important to remember. Predator isn't a larger-than-life, multidimensional window into some profound world it deals with. As an action film, Predator carries great entertainment value, it's not something one can honestly approach with a serious mindset. If one expects something other than relatively superficial action from the Predator movie, it transforms into a very poor cinematic experience. For example, the commando team attacking the rebel camp during the daytime is outright absurd. 
Moreover, the attack itself is executed in a foolish manner, everyone waits for the hero, Dutch, to approach alone, and without any major decision, Dutch changes the plan, and everyone starts shooting. Similarly, after destroying the rebel camp, the commandos are concerned about additional rebel reinforcements and rush to escape the jungle. Strangely, their urgency in the rebel forces are forgotten, and they stop in the jungle while firing shots all around. In reality, if rebel reinforcements were trailing the commandos, they would have become involved in the predator's hunt. Similarly, sometimes the enemies don't shoot the commandos when they have the chance, or they hesitate. In one scene, Dutch fires an M103 rifle grenade launcher close to an enemy, which would likely have killed Dutch too if the grenade had armed and detonated during its trajectory. Furthermore, in the scene where the commandos set traps for the predator, several questions arise, why doesn't the predator attack when all the commandos are focused on setting traps? Why doesn't the predator track where the traps are placed? Why doesn't the predator see the commandos behind the traps? Why does the predator approach the commandos on the ground instead of from the trees? Additionally, there are numerous errors in the details. For example, none of the commandos aim their weapons, they all shoot from the hip and in full auto mode, needlessly wasting ammunition. In reality, all the enemies aim their weapons more when shooting at the commandos. Speaking of ammunition, the amount of rounds the commandos fire would require an enormous quantity to be transported into the jungle, which would impact their mobility there. Similarly, Jesse Ventura's portrayal of Blaine's M134 minigun is the most impractical weapon to carry in the jungle. Moreover, it would become useless very quickly, as its rate of fire would deplete its ammunition in a matter of minutes. The weapon's rate of fire ranges from 2,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute, and according to the movie wiki, Blaine's minigun's rate of fire was adjusted to 1,250 rounds per minute. Also, firing the weapon without a stabilizing mount is practically impossible or extremely difficult due to recoil. The weight of the minigun also renders the weapon unusable. The gun itself weighs 39 kilograms, and the 1,000 rounds with the ammo case weigh around 37 kilograms. The battery and electrical system add approximately 25 kilograms. In total, Blaine had to carry a weapon system weighing around 100 kilograms, and this was in addition to his other equipment. On top of everything, he would only be able to fire the weapon for less than a minute before running out of ammunition. Furthermore, some special effects, like the laser ammo and its impact, looked bad during the time of the movie's release and still appear unconvincing. There are numerous inconsistencies that undermine the movie's realism, but at the same time, these unrealistic aspects make the film quite entertaining. If you imagine the movie without the minigun and the commando's nonsensical actions, the film becomes boring. Despite all these flaws, Predator is an entertaining movie. Alongside the two main segments, the film is interspersed with well-paced scenes that are enjoyable to follow. The film offers a lot of action, and although there are logical issues, they are somewhat well-placed and presented. The suitable background music enhances the overall experience. It's important to remember that the movie should be watched in entertainment mode. If you approach it ready to enjoy testosterone-driven macho action, complete with plenty of weapons and gunfights, you will be entertained. All Sort of Movies Channel rates Predator with 2.5 stars out of 5. Predator is a good action movie. If viewed critically, it may come across as a bad film. On the All Sort of Movies channel, you can find a video about the movie Predator, where the film is presented. Additionally, on the All Sort of Movies channel, you'll discover a unique restored edition version of the Predator movie, which includes all the deleted scenes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.